Hello, dear friends and colleagues. Uh, it is my great pleasure uh, to share with you uh, this presentation. Uh, this is about how we can possibly use kids in drama in the classroom, especially with young learners. Uh, this idea has been inspired by uh, a closing event um, that I attended in last TESOL Greece. Now the whole uh, idea is how you can possibly involve your learners in a fun activity. Not only uh, a group of three or four students that can be performing on stage, you can in include each and every one of your students in the class by sharing some lines and get them to participate with the students on stage. And the outcome is an interesting interactive performance that can make you think and get students to smile at their learning experience. These are hard times, trying times. We need to make some big decisions today. It's a crisis. With devaluation and rising tuition fees, let's fire teachers. What do we need them for? They don't do much nowadays. They torture us by endless rules and studying by heart. No more. Lots of homework and exams. Grading. Bad marks and loads of comments of how we need to improve. No more. We can do that on our own and even by staying at home. We can do all this and sit for the final exams. We needn't be bothered by coming daily to class and being told off by unnecessary teachers. Yes, fire them. Give them the sack. Shut them the door. All of them. What? But you can do that. We're indispensable. We work hard around the clock. We do what we're contracted to do and even more. Teaching is a low paying job and we still do it anyways. We need to learn how to cope without you teachers. You're costly and ineffective. That's not fair. We do what we're contracted to do. We help students develop academically, constantly undermine their self-confidence. Take testing, for example. Students are being tested all the time. We don't have time to learn or have fun. Have teachers ever done for us? Let's stop the nonsense. Okay. We've taught students how to analyze and create the language. We've also taught students grammar and how to use it in communication. Okay, okay. Apart from these two things, analyzing and creating with the language, grammar and communication, what have teachers done for us? For us? Well, we've taught students systematic vocabulary building. Oh, come on. This is a given. But apart from those three things, analyzing and creating with the language, grammar and communication, systematic vocabulary building, what have teachers ever done for us? For us? We've introduced students to learning strategies and skills on grateful graphs. Oh, we've taught students reflective skills. Yes, yes reflective, reflective skills. And we've taught students how to give peer feedback. Yes, peer yes. feedback. And we've taught students collaborative learning. Yes, collaborative learning. We've also taught students group interdependence and individual responsibility. Yes, what about individual responsibility? And you forgot. We've taught students how to use blended learning 
and put crossroads. Yes, when the learning and flip crossroads. Okay, okay. Apart from all those ten things, analyzing and creating the language, grammar and communication, systematic vocabulary building, introducing students to learning strategies and skills, reflective skills, peer feedback, collaborative learning, group interdependence, individual responsibility, blended learning, flipped classrooms. What have teachers ever done to us? Well, we seem to have forgotten about critical thinking. What? What on earth do you mean? What's this critical nonsense? That's it. We've had enough. No more. You're fired. Since I wanted to simulate the experience I uh, went through during the conference, I wanted to have a team of actors and audience to participate uh, with the actors on stage. Uh, since it was not possible for me to do that, I thought I could do that using technology. So I used a tool called Bucky Presenter uh, that could uh, help me with animations and uh, doing uh, voices. So I started doing voices using some animations, avatars, together. Uh, with this and that and lots of struggle uh, it was not an easy job it was real tough tougher than I thought this is one of the lessons you learn when you work with technology yeah sometimes it can fail you but hopefully uh, the outcome is something uh, that you would cherish as much as I do it is an interesting product showing you how you can possibly use avatars uh, in order to create drama, to model the activity for your learners. I thought I could model the activity I had in mind that you can possibly uh, sort of um, mimic, sort of uh, simulate in your own class. You don't have to use technology at all. You can use just, uh, you know, a script and a few lines that you can hand out. Um, the acting uh, students uh, on stage uh, need to rehearse and uh, sort of perform in front of everyone. The rest can improvise and just read out the line in reaction to, uh, you know, cues mentioned by their friends and colleagues. Without further ado, I would like to thank uh, the TESOL Greece organizing team uh, who I have, uh, you know, used um, one way or another during uh, the kit demo that I created. Thank them uh, for their thought-provoking activity that they uh, planned uh, on the final day of the conference as a closing event. And of course, special thanks to the marvelous gifted actors who really inspired me uh, to do that uh, it and share that in the form of an activity uh, to present for my fellow teachers in Egypt and elsewhere. Uh, I hope you are as inspired as I am uh, with uh, that idea, how you can uh, trigger, uh, you know, creativity in your learners and how to improvise. Thanks to Dr. Adrian Underhill for teaching me the lesson of how to improvise and hopefully do a good job. Enjoy uh, the skit and please contact me uh, for further questions and queries on how you can possibly implement that in your class.